All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to Bourbon Adventures. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a long time. I think it's been about a month. But today I've got three bottles here that I have picked up, picked up over the last month. So I wanna just do a quick review video on them or not even a review, just more of a, how do I like them? Would I pick them up again? Where did I get them? How much did I pay? That kind of stuff. So the first one I got maybe about a month ago this is the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye store pick from Cloud9 in Grand Rapids. This one comes in at 135.9 proof. And they did say that this is the highest proof bottle that was in Michigan this year. So I paid $69.99 for this bottle, being that it's a store pick. I'm glad to pay a little more for a store pick. Never, that's never really bothered me too much. Now this one does, uh, obviously I've had this a few times and it does, uh, it drinks its proof. <laughs> it gives you a nice, uh, even though it's a Tennessee product, it does give you the Kentucky hug. And then typically I'm not usually a big Jack Daniels fan But that one's definitely got the caramel vanilla. Um, it's definitely got the rye bite to it. It is very, very good. I'm pretty sure they have some more of these left. Um, I think I'm going to have to go get me another bottle because I don't have, I have a feeling this bottle's not going to last me too long. But I mean, just it's. It is so good. The vanilla and the caramel. It's just, it's right up front. The rye spice. Very good. Very, very good. Um, Jack Daniels. Um, normally, I have had the regular single barrel and it was okay. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but always for Jack Daniels, I always get that, um, because of the charcoal filtering, it's got a little bit of a mineral, um, taste to it. But this one, I get none of that at all. Like this was one of my favorite bottles I've picked up this year, or even of the whole, every bottle I have, that is one of my top favorites so far. The next bottle was a couple more weeks ago. Um, these just came to Michigan and I got it. I'm pretty sure on day one or two, I walked in the liquor store and asked if they had gotten it in. And this was the first bottle of the first case that they had. This is the holiday soft red wheat bottled and bond. So it is a hundred proof from holiday distillery distillery. This is a six year old. Uh, this just was distilled in 2017 and bottled April of 2024. It was on Rick House C, floor three, 100% of the time. And this one is odd. I did not know this, but this is a screw top, not a cork. seen a lot of videos on this one so when it did finally get to Michigan I was excited to pick it up I believe I paid $59.99 for this bottle and as you can see I have drank some of this one it's got a candy very sweet candy note can't really I don't know what that candy is but there is a Heart, like a hard candy that you would uh, suck on. A little butterscotch. Nice and soft, not overpowering. It's really good. It's a very good sipper and I'm really glad that they finally came to Michigan. I'm going to look out, they do a, uh, I think it was, it's a Rick house 
um, proof. Basically, I think that's just like their barrel proof. So I'm gonna look out for that. I haven't seen anyone post those bottles in Michigan, so I'm not sure if this is the only holiday release that has come to Michigan. So far, that's the only one I have seen. And it is fairly available in Michigan. Very soft and just easy drinking. Yeah, it's fairly good. So this bottle, I just picked this up on Thursday this past week. This is the 1792 Full Proof, 125% Kentucky Straight Bourbon. I've never had this one. Actually, I haven't even opened this bottle, so today will be the first time I've had this one. They are out of Kentucky. I do have, have had the small batch, regular, and my cork broke off, so I gotta get that out. I do like this one. Um, I got a lot of cherry notes on that. So I'm curious to see if, if I get the same type of notes on the foolproof, which I'm sure you do. And it is bottled at its original 125 barrel entry proof. Uh, doesn't tell me. Doesn't say anything about how how many years or anything like that. Doesn't have an age statement. It does say it's uh, deep and smoky, subtle balance with sweet vanilla and notes of caramel. I can smell a little bit of the smoky. It's got a sweeter, sweeter smell to it. Yeah, I get a sweet, especially on the back end. That's a that's a pretty good one. I've seen this at a few stores. I just never picked it up. And so I went in. Actually, I went to the, the, the store I went to actually ended up having. Oh, oh, it's over there. But um, they had advertised that they had a Buffalo Trace single barrel, which I haven't opened that. I'm gonna, I have two... Buffalo Trace single barrels, and I want to open them both and compare them. I haven't tried either one of them, but I want to. I need to get a regular Buffalo Trace so I can compare the three. So there will be a video coming soon, as soon as I get a regular bottle of Buffalo Trace. Excuse me. Yeah, this one's really, really sweet, which most of your bourbons. We're going to have a on the sweeter side. I like that one. Oh, I, I didn't mention, I did pay, I think it was $59.99 for that one. I think a little overpaid. I'm not real sure what the MSRP is on that bottle in Michigan, but pretty sure I overpaid a little bit, but that's fine. I don't see it a whole lot. There's a few stores that I'm not close to that I've heard carry it all the time. So when I seen it, I was like, you know, I'd rather give, pay a little extra to a local liquor store and help them get in some of the more allocated bottles and build that relationship with that owner. I sat there, I talked to him for a good half hour and he tried selling me some of the more expensive ones, but I was on my lunch break and I went there for the Buffalo Trace and then I ended up getting this bottle along with it. But I don't know if there's any much, any much uh, more to talk about about these three bottles. I definitely like all three. I would buy all three again. Um, I have a feeling these are gonna be staples on my bar and in my room. I mean, by far the JD is, uh, Way better than a lot of bottles I've had. Ooh, brown sugar on that one. Wow. I mean, that is just, that's delicious. 
Still get that sweetness there. I don't know what that one is. That's just a soft. It's a soft, soft, which I'm guessing that's why they call it soft red wheat, but it is a, it's just very good. All right, everybody, that's all I have for today. Again, I apologize for not having any videos out in the last month. It's been a crazy, crazy month and hoping to get back on the, uh, doing one a week one every two weeks, whatever it is. I still got to get out and do a hunting video. As you can see, I have been buying bottles. I just haven't been taking my camera with me. I've been doing them more on my lunch break at work. And it's really hard to film when you only have an hour. I can only get to one store, but I do need to get out and film some more hunting videos and maybe get some good, good bottles so we can do some, some of these tastings. Not going to rank these ones. These are just more of a let you know what I've been up to and what I've bought the last month. So with that being said, everyone raise your glass. And remember, it's not about the memories, or it's not about the whiskey in the glass, it's about the memories shared and the flavors embraced. Till our glasses meet again, cheers to the next pour. Thank you.